the program is driven from the main screen. Here we can insert the starting month and which period we want to use for our reporting. In this case we're using period 2, which will be February. The navigation page enables us to choose whether we want budgets, prior year or current year actuals, month and year to date, etc. We will go to the budgets page. Here we can insert the budget figures. We have some spare lines. If we want some more, we can unhide rows and we have some spares. And we can hide the rows if we don't want them. Any changes we make here reflect elsewhere. So that change will appear on the actual pages. We can now go to our current year actual. Here we see the wages in NI has changed. And here we can fill in our actual figures. The same buttons apply that we can hide zero rows. We can hide zero columns or put them back in. Suppress or show gross profit. And we can copy the current year to the prior year. Navigation again, our month and year to date, automatically picks up the previous year's comparatives, this year's actual, this year's budget and the variance, and cumulative totals, prior year, year to date, budget and variance. If we went to the front and changed it to period 3, and went into the month and year to date, it now reads March. Our balance sheet data is keyed in, and our balance sheet report gives us just the month. Again, we have hide and unhide rows. Our funds flow information is picked up automatically from the profit and loss account and balance sheet and we have a funds graph. If we go to the funds flow, hide zero rows and show our graph, we now have some sensible graphing illustrations. And if we go to the profit and loss graphs, we have monthly actual V budget and cumulative figures. These drive off of the actual page. So the actual profit and loss account goes to September. If we had some further figures in October, and we go to the profit and loss graphs, this now includes October. So these adjust automatically.